Welcome to News Beast. I'm Tony DeCopel here with my esteemed colleague Justine Rosenthal, more like my boss, so I'll have to be nice. We're here talking about the cover of Newsweek. Uh, Neil Ferguson has a piece, Hit the Road Barack. He's not talking about more campaigning. Uh, it's a takedown of Barack's performance as president, uh, saying he has not met uh, his promises as a candidate. Justine, how did this piece come about? Did Neil bring it to us? Did we go to him? Well, we have been talking to Neil uh, over the course of many weeks about what was going to be his next big uh, moment, as he had done with America's uh, ship moment. And we right. said, what is the next big thing that you want to say uh, about the election or about where America is right now? And the answer was that he had a lot to say about Obama yeah. and <laughs> Obama's presidency. And this piece was, in fact, conceived before Ryan was put on the ticket. Interesting. And then we developed it from there. Now, uh, in, in weeks past, we've had Romney whim factor. Mm. We've had Obama's critics are so dumb. Uh, I mean, do, do you have any consideration of past covers when commissioning covers to come? Uh, well, first part is, is it a great idea? Is it worth doing? And then the second part is certainly, I don't want to say balance, but you do want to give your readers a sense of both sides of uh, the aisle. Uh -huh. And that's a lot of what's been happening here, is that these are, of course, informed, but they are arguments, mm -hmm. not just reported pieces. So we're, we're offering, I think, the readers a number of different ways to come at mm -hmm. the magazine. Mm -hmm. Now, this piece is doing incredibly well. It's uh, the top of Drudge. Yeah, uh, it's it's got 10,000 likes on uh, <laughs> Facebook in 24 hours. Uh, it also has some critics. Um, uh, Paul Krugman, who is uh, an undergrad uh, economics major at Princeton, who has a blog, uh, <laughs> but it's got great reach. Now, I'm just going to eat. Abed uh, columnist at the, at the New York Times, uh, he says it's deliberately misleading, uh, and you know, he, he's top of the, of the ranks here for, for critics of the piece. Uh, is, is Neil already thinking about responses? Or are we going to ask him for responses? Where do we go from here? I think Neil's response may, in fact, already be up. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Wow. So we don't so move quick enough here. We do not move slowly. And I think that this is, we will see who comes out uh, more right than the other. I'm not sure there is a clear delineation of right and wrong here. Okay. Uh, let's take a question from Facebook. Oh, we're now doing yeah, we, we are, questions. Yeah, we are. And this apparently is a they new feature screen. of News Beast. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, no, I have no idea how to pronounce his first name, so we're just going to have to skip it, I guess. Uh, is Somebody from Facebook is asking about the decision to place an opinion piece on the cover. And I think this is a good question. Yeah. The, the, the decision to place an opinion piece on the cover. Uh, people get confused uh, about whether or not Newsweek is taking an editorial position as an institution or whether Neil is, is writing in his own voice independent of the institution. Um, is that a concern of, you, of, of yours, I mean, the confusion that readers might have, thinking that this is a... Uh... Well, hopefully we can, we can clear that up. And, and in part, that's... <laughs> right should, now, beginning right now, now. everyone should watch and know that, no, this is not the opinion of Newsweek. Right. This is the opinion of Neil Ferguson. And each cover gets its own uh, rash of angry writers right. or readers because uh, obviously the Mitt Romney is a wimp right is going to get a whole different set of people ginned up than does Neil Ferguson's right, why right. Obama has to go right um, uh, and yeah. that should probably show that we're either schizophrenic if it were to be Newsweek's right no absolutely own opinion or that we are trying to offer up so uh, speaking of gin I think we need to call it a night here or a morning. Or a morning uh, so, and start the uh, gin now. Yeah. So have you thought of your final word? You've had time now. I have. Krugman. <laughs> uh, swimming pools, a new tradition. Uh, thank you very much. That's it for uh, News Beast. See you next time.